What's up guys, it's Etech here. Here in this video I will show you the performance and everything of the Xi'an King Android 4.3 ROM for the Galaxy S2. So this is the by far the most best and most stable Android 4.3 ROM for the Galaxy S2 right now. It beats the Super Nexus ROM, Carbon ROM, Paranoid Android and CM 10.2 itself. So although it is based on CM 10.2 and one thing I don't like is that it doesn't come with the focal app uh, which is the sound gen mod camera app uh, due to some problems or performance issues. So other than that everything works great. Let me show you here in the settings about phone. So as you can see we have Android 4.3 Jello Bean we have here the Sound King ROM version. As you can see, this is Sound Gen Mod 10.2 and 4.3. So let me just tell you the three things that I like about this ROM. So starting from the first thing is the memory. You know, uh, in other ROMs. You might have seen my video about Carbon ROM and 4.3 for the Galaxy S2 and that we get, you know, 790 MB, uh, this is the RAM, 790 RAM, MB RAM, you get, uh, you know, this phone has 1 GB of RAM but you get 790 MB, but in this ROM we get 804 like on the stock, so this is a very, very important feature for people like us which who like to play games on your on their phones uh, because I'm a gamer and I like to play games on my Galaxy S2 so that's why it is a plus point for me and the other thing that I'm going to talk about is that this ROM is perfectly stable with Sia Dorminex kernel this is the version 9.40 so it is the latest version and it offers the overclocking up to 1.6 GHz and of course if you are a gaming lover you will like this and you have also the option to overclock your GPU up to uh, 520 MHz and you can change the frequency step by step so in terms of features and everything uh, we have the same features like other ROMs you know we have themes we have dark UI turn it off you will have here the you know we have now some lighter or you can say brighter in the settings so if we turn it on we have more black so it's just a you know color color option so here I have some themes you can download CM 10.2 themes from the Play Store so in terms of this you have standard options you can change the lock screen background and one thing that is new here is the option to turn off the camera widget you know you can turn off the camera widget now it will not scroll over there so it is a feature of this ROM but you know we all need camera quick action it is very uh, convenient so we have interface option here we have quick bar quick setting panels you can uh, change the quick setting panels you can uh, also you can uh, change the tile background color you know I want blue so as you can see I have blue here and also tile press background black let me just change that to blue and let's see so nothing new here no more change but you can uh, customize your tiles let's check out the tiles and layout here as you can see we can add here different kind of toggles you know you can add the orientation you can have screen timeout let me just add here torch as you can see here okay so let me just try out here I was doing as you can see now it is working <laughs> you know you have blue tiles here now so as you can see here uh, it is not kind of visible through camera here but it is looking pretty darn awesome uh, and 
other things are just same I'm not wasting your time you know and we do get halo halo notification here like ribbon type or multi window type thing I don't really like that but you can check that out so the camera is working pretty good no lags at all you can capture photos you can also switch to the video mode here no you can record video and you can stop the video and you can go into gallery without any options so I mean problems uh, sometimes I make so much bubbles so blooper sorry there's a blooper there too so overall performance uh, is darn good darn good means pretty darn good so it is killer ROM for the Galaxy system you know no lags no performance issues perfectly stable I've tried out every single game Dead Space FIFA 14 this is the latest game and I have no problems I tried out the GTA 3 and if you are a gaming lover if you want gaming on Android 4.3 Galaxy S2 so I will be making a lot of videos about gaming uh, and do be sure to check that out and uh, let me know what you think and the third feature that I liked I forgot to mention it uh, previously so the third feature is the quadrant 3d score even though it is not you know good quadrant score as compared to the stock but it is very nice and I haven't overclocked it you can overclock it up to 1.6 gigahertz and try out the quadrant benchmark you will definitely get good results but I I uh, didn't overclock, I have the same uh, stock frequency of about 1.2 GHz and I do overclock the GPU to, uh, you know, 400 MHz. So, let me just show you here the screenshot that I have taken. Oh, where is the gallery? Here we go. Here we go, I have the screenshot. So, as you can see, I have the total of... 3457 and as you can see my 3d score is 2246 and it is you know good it is greater or you can say better than the stock one and in terms of gaming the performance is great you can try out practically so nothing new Wi-Fi is working Bluetooth is working everything is working stock browser works great and you know it is working so yeah, definitely check out this ROM with Sia Kernel. We do get the Asterisk apps, and I'm I know you are familiar with that app. Oops, you know, I live in Pakistan. It is the load shedding. So load shedding happens here a lot. You know, lights went out, so it is dark here so I have to end this video right now and hope you guys enjoyed my video give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions then feel free to comment down below and yeah subscribe